Thursday's flare was the latest in a series of solar eruptions captured by NASA's Orbiting Solar Dynamics Observatory. Classified as a moderate M-class flare, it lasted for about 45 minutes, ejecting billions of charged particles into space in a coronal mass ejection. M-class flares are not as powerful as the X-class, but can still emit enough electromagnetic radiation to disrupt radio and satellite communications on Earth. This time, however, scientists say the charged particles were directed away from the Earth and don't pose a threat. The observatory's five-year mission began in February of 2010. The SDO is equipped with four telescopes that can observe and transmit highly detailed images of the sun in a variety of wavelengths. The sun's 11-year activity cycle is ramping up towards solar maximum, which means flares are likely to increase before the cycle reaches its peak in 2013. NASA says its observatory will be providing an uninterrupted view of all solar activity until the SDO mission ends in three years. Kelmany Ducart, Reuters.